you would like to help support the channel, check out our links on our homepage. You can subscribe and follow our Instagram for all the latest channel going on. Or click on our coffee link to make a donation. You can also click on our Goblin Gaming Affiliates link. They sell Games Workshop, gaming mats, terrain, accessories and many more items. And of course, Adeptus Titanicus, all at discounted rates. Anything you buy, using the link, the channel gets a little in return. Thanks very much and enjoy the show. Princeps and welcome back to another battle report with myself Chris and my buddy Steve. Let's go. Okay, so another open engine war game for you. Um, 1500 points, traitors versus loyalists, very standard. Uh, you will see the missions and all those bits after we've done this and yeah. we're going to talk about our list. So do you want to go first or want to go first? Uh, why don't you go first? All right. you, you've memorised yours. Yeah. Have you? That's a, that's a mistake, straight away. <laughs> right, okay, I'll go first. So, today I am going to be the loyalist. And uh, I'm going to be rocking Legio Presagius. Um, I'm taking a Precept Battle Line Maniple. And in that, I have a Warlord. And this is my Princeps. Uh, it has a Macro Gatling Blaster, paired Gatling Blasters, and a Sun Fury Plasma. Um, wanted to use those weapons keeps the points down. Uh, how efficient it will be, I don't know, but it seems fun. Uh, yeah, so this is my princeps, and I'm going to be using the Presagious trait, uh, as we like to choose, we don't roll. Uh, Crusader uh, means once per round. Uh, when using full stride, I can fire a weapon after I've moved, but it's at minus two, uh, which will be fun, I suppose. Yeah, it could be useful. Um, and I've got a Warbringer, with a Gatling Blaster and a Melt Cannon um, and a Bellicosa on top. So, with the new Loyalist book, the Ark, apparently, for the Carapace, yeah. is Ark. Um, I know some other groups have spoken about this and I think some people are playing it that is Corridor. I can't find in the FAQ. We're kind of going to roll with the latest book is the the rules, yeah. so we're going to play. And it is on a turntable, to be fair. It is on a turntable, <laughs> so we're going to play that with Ark. Uh, then I've got two Warhounds, um, one with two turbo lasers, and one with plasma blast gun and Vulcan Volta. And then I've got all my stratagems, which I can't tell you. And then backing this up to round it up to fifteen hundred points for funsies, I've got the new Knights Megara, just two of those. I think that's me, 1500 on the nose. Okay, uh, right, yes, so I am the Dirty Traders today. <laughs> uh, I'll be using the Legio Magna. Magna. So Legio Magna, just for Ben, I'm taking a Corsair Manipal. Uh Actually, it's the only models I've got. <laughs> so, um, it will be three Reaver Titans. I have got one with uh, two Volcano Cannons and Missiles. I have got one with a Fist, Gatling Blaster and Heavy Bolter. And the Senioris will be... There he is again. Uh, a chap with a Melter Cannon, a uh, Chain Fist and the Turbulator uh, Destructor on the, on the roof. Backing them up, I've got four Sarastas Knights from House Morbidia. Very nice too. Uh, oh, did I mention my Warhound? I don't think I did. No, and I've got a, a detached Warhound Titan with uh, Plasma uh, uh, and Heavy Bolter as well. Cool. Princeps? Princeps, Trace. as I said, is the guy with the yep. Chain Fist. He has got the Slayer of Kin, K 
King's Magna trait, which basically allows him to, uh, when targeting a Titan, within 12 inches of him, he may add one to the armor roll of any hits, providing that that target has a scale equal to or greater than him. So he's a, yeah. Interesting. Um, I'm going to try and remember today um, the allegiance abilities uh, once per game, traitor and loyalist. Yep. Uh, we we just didn't use them in the last game. Yep. Um, so we're going to try and get them in today. I think the traitor one is particularly good. Um, I think Steve's got quite an aggressive style list today as well. Yeah. So oh, I, should, oh, I forgot. I've mm. been given the Magna specific um, equipment pressure outlet to the Melter Cannon on the Prince of Senior as well, which basically uh, makes his short range uh, an extra D3, I think, as well, three inches. Makes it easy to get fusion, basically. Yeah, makes uh, it more, D10 roll, more yeah. powerful, yeah, powerful, absolutely. Yeah. And then you've got uh, Magna. What else have they got? Trait wiser. Uh, trait wiser. So basically, anyone within eight inches of them suffer a minus one to their command checks and can never reroll failed command checks. Cool. And then you've got an assortment of potential stratagems, uh, which we won't go into because I don't know what Steve's taken. No. We like to keep that, it's keep secret. that secret. Yeah. So Steve's got the minus one to my command checks at eight inches uh, with my preset maniple. So screaming at you. Screamer. Ah. <laughs> I can try and negate that with my preset mana pool. I can select a chosen order which will go off on a 2 plus regardless. So if there's something I need in the clutch, then that's the one I'll pick regardless how close Steve. So that might work out well for me. Other than that, I think we'll work out the rest on the battlefield, won't we? Yeah, it will work itself out. Cool. So uh, we're going to set up, deploy, you'll see the missions, and then we'll see you on the battlefield. For the War Master. Oh yeah, for the War Master. No, hang on, for the Emperor. <laughs> you were right the first time. Yeah. See ya. Welcome Princeps to our open engine war game. Deployment for this game will be staggered front, a corner style deployment. And the mission, primary, will be seize and hold, with both forces attempting to seize control of key locations across the battlefield. There will be four primary objectives and each player can earn five victory points for each objective they hold at the end of the battle. And an additional five victory points if they control two or more. The primary objective has a maximum of 25 points. For our secondary objectives, I have drawn Seize the Quadrants. For this I will score bonus points for securing table quarters of the battlefield by having more scale than my opponent in them. Steve has drawn Honor Duel and Steve will score bonus points for his Princeps Titan taking out selected targets. All secondary objectives have a maximum of 10 points. Both players have five stratagem points for this game. My stratagems, Precision Volley for two, Augmented Serve to Clades for another two, and Iron Resolve for one stratagem point. Steve has Blind Barrage for one, Override Signal for another stratagem point, Sabotage for two stratagem points, and Experimental Locomotives for the last one. In our games, we'll be introducing some house rules this helps us speed up battle reports and makes a better game for us to film. These will be no out of range blasts as per the FAQ. We don't particularly enjoy the rule and it makes filming the cut-ins just for scattering blasts quite tedious. And as far as units moving over terrain, rather than half the scale, we're going to try scale divided by three rounding down. So for example, a Reaver Titan can move over something two inches. So that's it, we hope you enjoy the game and we'll see you on the battlefield. Here we are Princeps, we have deployed. So you've seen the missions, um, let's talk about that first. So we have one, two, three, four objectives which we are trying to hold with scale and they are worth points to us. Um, secondary objective, Steve has, what you got mate? Um, honor Jewel. So my Prince of Senioris, this chap here, gets to pick two Titans in your army, one of which has to be your Senioris, so this Warlord. And I picked as my second target, this Warhound at the back. Uh, I get six points if the Senioris, my Senioris kills him, and four points if my Senioris kills this guy, and 10 overall obviously, if I get both. Uh, for me, I've got Seize the Quadrants, it was the best of a bad selection for my list and deployment. 
Um, the board is basically in four quarters. Um, if I hold two quarters, I think this is a scale, I'm going to score five points. If I hold three or more, I'm going to max out on ten, or secondaries add up to ten. So, as well as taking the objective counters, I need to try and hold table quarters. Um, deployment, we're in corners. Um, Steve has got leading the charge some lancers backed up by this uh, hound. And then literally on the other side, <laughs> a really strong, scary looking uh, Corsair Bad. of uh, <laughs> Reaver goodness, or badness. Um, five drops each, even so I still feel outnumbered. <laughs> um, so holding the line, I have got the Warlord front and centre. He's got two cheeky little knights behind him and backed up with sniping power with a laser blaster hound. Um, and then on this side, holding this flank, is the Nemesis Warbringer and another Warhound. So, that's deployment. First player roll off. Mm. Need a D10. There you go. Okay, so, am I rolling first again? Sure. This is a thing, isn't it? Ah, okay. oh, classic so, start. Good start. Ooh. An eight. Okay, what do you want? Uh, I will take first player. Steve will be first player. We'll be back after strats and orders. Strats and orders complete. Steve kicked off with some kind uh, of stratagem. Experimental locomotives on the Princip Senioris, yep. allowing him to basically boost, uh, use his boosted speed characteristic, but uh, without pushing, without pushing the reactor. Mm. But uh, at the end phase, a roll of dice on a, a D10 on a one, he suffers damage to the legs and can't use it anymore. Cool. Okay. Um, and then I have augmented servitor clades on my warlord, giving it plus one to that stat, um, but not for emergency repairs. Uh, that was the end of strats and went to orders. Uh, uh, back to Steve. Yep, full stride on the Prince of Senioris. He's hungry for it. Mm -hmm. um, that was that my, was your go. That was mine. And then I went full stride on these knights. Then Steve had a faux pas over here. Did a, a little bit of a snafu with the um, one I rolled for the full stride orders and the knights. So mm. that was the end of my orders. Yeah, with that I thought I'll go for a cheeky um, first fire on the Warbringer and failed it. So that was it, that was straps and orders complete. Uh, we're going to go into the movement phase. So movement done and uh, we did damage repair as well because first turn, not much to do. I'm going to start with Steve. Um, tactics out the window here Steve, just full pelt. Tactics <laughs> are very much in the information still. Um, it was just a case of uh, intimidate. Intimidate. <laughs> intimidate. Yeah, so I um, pushed a guy up as far as I could, really, in the yeah. grill. Um, same with the other fella. Yeah. This guy just maneuvered a bit, maybe get some shots. Uh, and also to get out of the way of the watering of the range. Uh, knights moved up. Um, I was first player, so I got to move them first, so out of the way. Um, so I foolishly forgot that Griff didn't have first fire on his Warbringer. I thought we had made that, he didn't. Um, so I, I, I foresaw their death, so I, I moved them. But I would have done that anyway, probably. Uh, the Hound just took some cover behind that big rock there. And, um, That's you, isn't it? That, is, that was me, that was it. So super aggressive over here, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, over on my side, um, I'm pushing these knights up here just to try and have something around this flank or, or I mean, who knows, maybe even maybe put them in front, we'll see. Uh, all I've done is shuffle up with the Warlord and the Hound here to get shots off. Yeah. Uh, with the knights uh, moving behind here, I've brought this hound round on this flank as a bit of protection and then with no targets I've brought the warbring around. I pushed it for movement uh, seven inches, got two heat and I've got eyes on over here. Uh, damage repair, um, with those two heat it was my only roll, I managed to get rid of one and I think Steve, you got rid of one heat somewhere? I had one heat on this guy for pushing his re um, reactor for movement. you cleared that didn't you? Yeah. So that's it, that's where we are. Damage done, moves done. We're going to go into the first combat phase. Steve's first activation and he has launched his uh, princeps up super close and I've counted it by throwing those knights in front. Now it's not going to make much difference this turn but if Steve gets first player and a charge next turn he could be scoring his uh, second year objective very quickly. <laughs> um, also by throwing him up there first as my first activation not only does it stop Chris shooting me with a warbringer but it also means I'm hoping that Chris can't fire at me with his um, top guns. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely a thing. Uh, it's 10 inches, isn't it? So yeah. that's not a problem. Um, but yes, massive threat, um, this deployment. Super quick, super close. Uh, so that was the first two activations. 
Steve is now activating this reaver and going for some long bomb minus two shots at the knights to try and clear them out. Um, so we start with missiles, uh, yeah. hitting on five, five. So not in long range, no, no bonuses. I've got too many dice in my hand. Oh, it's four hits. Oh, it's four hits. Okay, so I need to work out what my saves will be. Okay, four up saving throws. Uh, I've made two, so two go through. Okay, so what's the minimal? Is it a nine or tens ten? or nines? Let's have so a look. These are going to be what fives or sixes at least, I would say. So that's a nine. Does that do anything? Let's have a look. Yes, it is a direct hit. Ha! One off. Take okay. that, loyalist. Okay, so uh, we move on to the bellicoses. We've looked at both of them. They've got minus two to each left or right, so it doesn't really matter which one I use first. Uh, which is what it does, because the left one can only see the left knight, and the right one can only see the right knight. Uh, so these are going to be a minus one because of your uh, minus one strength. strength the Magiris, it, yeah. So yeah. you get five to hit. Uh, let's start with the left one, and I will fire it straight on top of Matey's head here. So it is a hit, and it's for free. What that? Yeah. That's so pretty perfect. These are now strength eight they are. because of uh, I. Ionic flare shields right. reduce the strength by one. Uh, so now there's strength eight, and I have two knights. I get a six plus save, so it's Good two hits. Two Was hits. it overlapping as well? Uh, no. um, it was on top of his head here, so it does just get the base of the, of the wall or two. So once the wall, of, okay. So I do the. Um, you didn't overlap the other knight. No. Okay. Okay. I can't see it because of the angle. It has to be done. Okay. So um, I'll do the void shield on the mm. wall. Which drops one, and then I've got six up saves times two on the knights, uh, See, which is one. one. So one goes big, through. Big so big let deal. me just sort out some bits. Ready? Yeah, straight eight coming in. Oh, uh, roll that that's fine. It's flat. Yeah. You not happy with that? No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't have any to roll. I'm okay, happy so that's to. a twelve. Yeah. Uh, which is a direct hit. Oh, what a thirteen would have been. Thirteen would have been devastating. So uh, minus one really helped. Really you helped know? me. It got me a saving throw and reduced the damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so uh, we cool. move to the right one. Yes. Uh, the right one, like I say, can only see the right knight, so um, I can probably put it there and get an overlap, Chris, just about. Okay, so roll a hit and we'll see, see where it happens. So, missed <laughs> for two, two heat. heat. Okay. So, awesome. the worst scenario from last time. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. And let's see where he goes. I'll take that. Yeah. So, D10, scatter. And we were here, weren't we? So, just overlapping. And it goes that two way. inches and that way. wipes out the okay, cool. so bit of rock. I just about got away with that. You did. Over to me. So I'm activating my Warlord and I'm attacking Steve's Princeps here. So I'm going with the macros. So the carapace weapons will not be out of fire. Um, but I'm going with the arm macro. So six shots. I'm getting plus one at short range. Uh, hitting on twos. That is for five hits. Okay. Um, I'm going to push my reactor for shield saves. Of course you are. So it's blank. Uh, one failed so far. Okay. Two already rolled. Two failed. Two failed, okay. I'm going to go straight in with the plasma. There's okay. no bonuses. Um, four dice hitting on threes. One, two, Two hits. Two hits. Okay, so I'm gonna might as well push the reactor again because that last one was free. Uh, this is a fours I'm looking for now. Mm -hmm. uh, failed one. Who heat? <laughs> oh gosh! Failed two, two. Two heat. So that was about as bad as it can be. You got one left? No, got none left. Should no voids. No voids. Sweet. Uh, I'm out of guns. Triumph of Flame is going down range. Some cheeky shots on these knights at minus two. Minus two. Okay, so, so all in range. Yep. Starting with the boulders. Starting with the boulders. So fives and sixes, sixes explode. Okay, so two regular hits. Just that two hits. Okay. Not what I was hoping for. Let's get so some saves. Let me strike for four, obviously. Needing four pluses. Uh, drop one. Okay, so strength four. Yeah. Um, you need nines. So oh, nothing. Zippo. Zippo. Right. Let's go into the. So Gatling's now going in. Daka, daka, daka. Okay, Ooh, so two. two. Two hits, these are strength five. These are strength five, yep. Uh, two knights, again it's four pluses. Two? Two. Uh, I make none. Okay, so um, all the nines, one. and we roll ones, yeah. So that is strength ten. That's a nine and a ten, isn't and it? A ten, yeah. That's two, two directs. directs. Okay, so. That's enough to kill one. Excellent. That's what you wanted, wasn't it? It was. And I'll take a shake and check. 
uh, which fails. They're now shaken as well. But okay, sniping hound into Steve's unvoided uh, princeps with laser blasters. So let's uh, try and get some hits. For one hit. Mm -hmm. What range are you at, Chris? Because you can re-roll this, can't you, if you're... Uh, if it's over long range, range, I can re-roll the location, can't I? Yeah, you're at 14 inches. 14. It's short range is 16, so I'm in short range, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so location is the body. Yep. Uh, just the one, wasn't it? It was. Uh, it's a 10, so it's going to be a direct, I'm assuming. Uh, I believe so, yeah. We'll yeah. Check. Okay. So one direct uh, going again with the other lasers. Uh, let's try and get some more hits. Uh, one hit again. Mm -hmm. And it's the body and it's a 12. So also another direct. Another direct and that is me done. So Steve's activation with this hound and he's got nothing to be done. So back to me. So I go with my nemesis, uh, checking, I've nominated Steve's princeps and then when we checked uh, Arc Line's site, I can get over the top of that. So it's going to be minus two, I'm going to drop a Bellicosa on top, I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, I need a reactor dice, which I cannot find. Okay, so here we go, I need a five up. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Sugar. Two heat, <laughs> I don't care, I'm happy with that. Okay, big roll here, um, two hits, strength 12. So it is the leg. Now, oh. am I over half range? Because I may have a reroll uh, of this. What is the range of a Let's have a look. Okay, I was kidding myself. Short range is 30 <laughs> inches for this this big gun. Be, yeah. It might not be a bad roll, okay. to be fair. So, uh, 15. I said critical. And 18. Critical. So that's two crits, which means he is very much damaged in terms of the legs. Not quite immobilised. Mm, need one more. One okay. more would have. Base. What? Uh, you're going to spin, and you're going to do, all, and you've got half movement. Yeah. So okay. I mean, it's, so that's it's, interesting. It's actually probably the best you can hope for. Yeah. Great hit there from the uh, nemesis. Uh, that was my activation. Steve's activation is the knights that can't do anything because they failed their order, and then back to my last hand, which also cannot do anything. So that is the end of the combat phase. So end of. Turn one, uh, end phase stuff, Steve's Titan did a little turn to the right, and that's where we sit. So uh, all exciting turn two, I think, yeah. coming up. Going to turn two, uh, I think it's gonna be quite an exciting turn two. Uh, first player roll off. A five. Straight down the middle. Average. Three. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, uh, I think I'll be first player, Steve. Uh, you're sure? Yes, oh, okay. yes, 100%. Turn two, strategy and orders done. Um, so I played no strategies initially, and Steve has hit my Warbringer with a blind barrage. Um, we then went into orders, and uh, I kicked off with a first fire on my warlord so I actually selected first fire as my precept mana pool order so I need a two plus modifiers from magna doesn't mean a damn thing it's my princeps basically I'm getting that off on a two plus uh, and I rolled a one and Steve pissed his pants <laughs> and uh, when he finished laughing um, I hit him with an iron resolve stratagem and uh, basically means I passed that order um, Steve then Got a charge, and um, that was it. We did no more orders, so that was straps and orders complete. Uh, we're going to go into the movement phase. Okay, going into the movement phase, and Steve has a surprise for me. Okay, I'm going to play sabotage on your warlord, oh, forcing you to re-roll the dice. Son of a bitch! You might get one in six chance you'll get it again, or you might just shut down. Do you know this is? This happened to me at Warhammer World at the tournament. Someone shut down my warlord. It's, it's really nerve wracking. Um, oh, here we go. Split, Split fire. fire. Okay. okay, not terrible. But it's probably saved you. It's probably saved you. Okay, so another stratagem played there, and uh, I'm going to crack on with the movement phase. So, a little movement cut in here. Um, as the first player, I stuck my knight in front of Steve's princeps to take my warlord um, and at this point we have done other moves and you'll get a uh, overview 
at this point he's activating and he's going to smash it to okay. hits. Uh, two's to hit. Chain fist. Chain fist. Mm -hmm. Three hits. <laughs> okay. Strength. Uh, it's eight. Uh, rending. I get no saves at this okay. point. So ten. Ten. Yep. Is direct. Okay. Um, what's rending do again? Uh, you get a D three. If you roll a six, you add a D three. Okay, so I didn't get any of that. No. Is that eleven? Eleven is a direct. And a thirteen. Is a devastating, which kills it. Okay. <laughs> and that was Steve's charge. Okay, Princeps, you saw the charge, that little cut in there, um, and we've done the rest of our moves, so let's look at this side of the battlefield. Um, I've moved back with my Warlord um, and moved forward slightly with my Hound to take on targets here. Uh, we saw Steve's charge, it's kind of made his movement redundant on the Princeps, and then he's just kind of backing up with these Reavers here, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's all about anger now. <laughs> just Magnus run out of any strategy. Pure like. rage. <laughs> um, I mean, that was a pretty big punt, wasn't it? I a think. Bit, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, if I hadn't killed, my, my goal was to kill the knights in the first turn and get the open. Sure, get the charge straight up. Yeah, they. I mean, they, we didn't see them do anything, but they did do me a massive favour yeah, by sacrificing themselves. I would have got that ward on Hills made meddling. On this side, Steve is pushing forward. Uh, the knights coming over the hill and uh, some Warhound support. Um, it's good in a way, I mean, I've got shots on them, I've, I've literally just backed up defensive, but what it's stopping me doing is um, holding quarters and stopping me scoring my points. Um, Steve is just pushing me back, pushing me back and putting the pressure on. If I don't get the dice I need, it's gonna work for him. So that's movement, that's where we are, and uh, we're gonna go and do some damage repairs because we've got some things to do. So, uh, damage repair, um, I rolled for my Warbringer, he's in the yellow, got nothing back, I blanked out. I got one void back on my Warlord, the rest of my stuff is fine. I think Steve's cleared some heat here and here. Yeah. Um, so the last one to roll for is his Princeps, which has damage, so I thought we'd do this one on camera. Yeah, this needs to be a big roll. <laughs> I see a one. Okay, and actually that's five. not too bad. Double I'm five. Clear cool. all my critical damage. That is an excellent roll. Uh, that's done him a massive favour. Okay, so uh, damage repair done. We're going to turn two combat phase. So on first player, um, that's an amazing repair roll for Steve. Um, I'm sticking with my plan. I'm gonna go for the Hound first. I'm gonna aim shot at the legs and I'm hit on fives. It's not great. Um, but I'm getting plus two to these if I get them through. Um, I can't re-roll my dice because I'm too close. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. So uh, aim shots with the first laser. Uh, I get one. Uh, into the legs, uh, so this is basically going to be 10 plus d6, that's uh, 14. That is uh, devastating, which finishes my track. So you're now compromised. So the next gun I'm getting plus 3. Yes. Mm, okay, I'm going to do the same thing, aim shots with the other laser. I get one more hit. Mm -hmm. um, so this is now 11 uh, yeah. plus d6, uh, another 14. Okay, so that's dead stain, which becomes a critical one critical hit. So, not so bad. Uh, and then it's going to go to Steve. Steve's going to open up with his princeps, uh, the fear of him maybe dying before he gets the chance. Uh, and he's going to open up on this hound. Uh, yep. We've checked the arcs, he's all good. And he's just far enough away to use his carapace as well. Yep, so, so. I'm going to use the shield bane trait for the yep. turbo lasers. Uh, freeze to him. Excellent. Two misses and one heat. Okay. And then going with a, a hot yeah, shot. A hot shot, yeah. Okay, you've got the template over there. Hits. If you want to overlap, you can uh, do that. That's fine. Um, okay, yeah. Do that. Yeah, you get one on the two. Warlord as well. Uh, did you get the hit? Oh, yes, I got three. Yeah. Got three. So, uh, Warlord saves two voids on the Hound. I'm not going to push. Uh, drop one, save one. And that's done, isn't it? That's him, I'm afraid. I think that's him done. Fingers crossed. Proper done for me. <laughs> so going straight on my Warlord at this Princeps. Um, I'm going to start with the Plasmas. I'm going to aim shots at the legs. There's only fives to hit. I'm going to max fire these. For no hits. Now the Gatling. It's a uh, last chance saloon for me. Um, I can't afford Steve to be my first <laughs> player in turn three with this guy. Um, so I get him plus one at this range. So aim shots at the legs. I'm going to hit on fours. With the Gatlings. 
I only have two. That is probably not going to be enough. Um, mm. So these are strength seven, but I'm getting plus three. So uh, tens plus d6. And I got I got twelve, which is going to turn into a crit, isn't it? Yep. And then not enough for fourteen, which is what devastating. Yep. Which is one more crit. So you are immobilized. Immobilized at least. He's done. So it saves me for now, but I've got no more shots on it. Steve's going down range at this Warhound. He's got minus two with the Gatling, and you can see with the Bolters. Okay, so we'll start with the Bolters. Yeah. Uh, six dice, mm -hmm. hit on threes. Sixes uh, explode. Okay, so that's four. effectively four hits, yeah. Okay, six. I will, I'm on four pluses. I will push at this point. Didn't need to. Uh, yeah, oh, that's a foul anyway. Uh, but one heat and one shield mm. dropped. Gatling coming in. Minus two hitting on fives for one. Mm -hmm. uh, I will. Huh. It's one four plus or one overload. If I overload, they're not coming back. I'll take the four plus. Uh, I, you know, I probably will. It's 50 50. It's a six. It's got it. Shields are still online. Activating my Warhound and I'm going to take on these Lancers because they are scaring me. I'm going to start with the Bolters uh, in range, no bonuses. Six shots. Oh, drop one. Uh, for <laughs> four hits. Okay. Uh, they're a mighty strength four, I think. So I get two, two pluses. Yeah. So four, five. Four. Four. Uh, of course, I failed two. Uh, I need sixes, I think. Uh, I've got a five for a nine. Nine is a direct hit. One direct hit. And then here we go. Plasmas, stick it on this guy here. Mm -hmm. well, hold up. Balanced. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so two shots coming in at long range. Hit on fours. Dropped another one. But I've got one hit, one scatter. So let's do some scattery stuff. Let's go, and that way nine, it's gonna fly off, miles away. Uh, so, um, yeah, do you know I didn't maximal fire it? It's my so mistake. You, so you did if you want. <laughs> no, my mistake. Okay, um, so it's strength eight, isn't it? Yeah. So with four plus, three plus knights, I have a five up normally, and a plus up. one. Well, four up with the, um, Yep. Chill. Times two. Uh, fours, yeah. Makes um, one. one. So strength eight. And superficial. Okay. So remember to maximal fire. Steve's activation and he is going down range at this warbringer, but at minus two because you've blind barraged me. Yeah, it's a double edged <laughs> sword that one. Uh, so we'll start with the heavy bolter. Yeah. Uh, so these will be fives. And another minus two, was it? Uh, so it can't be done. So you can always hit on sixes. Oh, right. you always hit on sixes, but they won't explode. Won't explode. One hit. One hit. Okay, I'll just go for one save and makes it. Uh, the plasma, not max warning because there's no point. So these will be sixes as well, I do believe. Missed. Some scatter coming in. Uh, oh, one inch. So it's going to be two hits. So I've got two. Uh, two misses, maybe. Oh, two misses, yeah. Sure. And Another one inch. Okay. So, so four. Four. Okay, uh, I will push for this one. Okay, not pushing, in the yellow, So, uh, but my voids are still in the green on threes, and we've dropped two. So that was Warhound done? That was Warhound done. Cool, and you dropped two warships. My Warbringer going down range at these knights, so I'm barrage, so I'm minus two. I'm going to start with the Gatlings, uh, hitting on fives, four, oh, four, four hits at strength five. You're still two ups. getting two ups. Past. All past. Uh, okay, I'm going with the Melter next because I'm in the yellow, so obviously the Bellicose is going to give me heat. It's the only one I can see without any penalty, so uh, minus two. Smisses. Steve told me to be ready with the scout dice. Uh, it's going back seven. Uh, not going to hit anything. I'm going to have to pie plate it. <laughs> Got a blue one now. Um, so this is going to get me into the Potentially. Orange, well, oh uh, yeah, and that's a blanket, that's a blanket. So, yeah, here we go. Hitting on a five plus and draining. 
blanks. Oh, it's blanks. That's good, but I have missed. No, you have. Oh, okay. One <laughs> inch. Uh, it's just going to hit the one guy. Yep. It's not over the centre though, is it? So uh, it's a one hit or two. That's true. That's going to be close. One. One hit. Uh, strength 12. Uh, 5, 17. So one it's going to do, yeah, two on the track. Crit takes one out. And uh, take a shaken check. So what? They're now shaken. <laughs> okay, that, if anything, I'll, I'm happy with that. Steve, last activation, we well, nearly forgot one, is going for the Warbringer. So start with the missiles. Minus two because of the blind barrage for one hit. Okay. Can't afford to push. Uh, four plus gets a five. Um, are you going to go with the volcano cannons? How many shields have you got left? Uh, I've got two left. Uh, well, far one. See what we got. Okay. Uh, so five to hit. Uh, missed. But it's free heat. It's free heat. And. Uh, Alright, okay. So going that way too, so it's definitely going to hit me once. Mm -hmm. um, it might hit me twice, so I'm going to double check it. Centre of the base, it hits me twice, so two four ups, not pushing. That could be voids down. One, two, now I've got one left. Do you want to put another shot on well, it? Well, I said the last one was free, I can afford to, so yeah, I, might yeah. as, I might as well. Um, Absolutely. So as before. That does hit for one hit. It does get a hit. Two, uh, one hit, another two hits. Um, four pluses. Do I want to overload at this point? I don't think I do. One save, one fail. Voids are blown <coughs> on the Warbringer. If only the knights weren't shaken. You'd feel much happier. I'd feel much happier about that. <laughs> so that's all our activations. Mm. So that's the end of the combat phase. Turn two, lots going on. Uh, we've got some end phase stuff to look at. So nothing to do in the end phase. All the critical damage is on this Titan and he is immobilized. And that's it. So we're going to see you in turn three. It's crunch time. Turn three. First player. Roll off. I have a mighty three. Is that a seven? It's a seven. seven. Oh, you, can see yeah. the one, you can see the one on the side. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. It's a seven. I think there's actually more than one one on this side. <laughs> I need to check it later. Do you know um, what you want to do? Think. I'll have a think. Okay. Okay, so Steve has decided to be first player. Let's turn that to Traitor Red. A uh, little caveat um, Steve has been rolling for his, um, what are they called? Experimental locomotives. Yes, and they've been fine both turns, no ones. Uh, we've got to mention those in the end phase, they're all good. So Steve's going to be first player going into turn three, strats and orders. So a little cut in on strats and orders. Steve didn't play any strats, uh, but I played. Precision Volley, which is a two stratagem, Presagious stratagem. <laughs> uh, basically, I play this until the end of the next round. I add one to hit rolls for all attacks made by Presagious Titans when using the weapon's long range. Um, Steve went straight in with an emergency repair when we went to orders, and he got mm, seven, and he's passed. I'll keep him alive. <laughs> so we thought we'd film it. Okay, so add plus one to each of these dice. Yes. Okay, so that's a six. six and five. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, again, I don't know my dice. We've got fives and sixes on. And three, been that. Yeah, pretty much. So, so you could. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do what I did last time and drop down two critical hits. So you still got one critical. I still got one, but I'm no longer immobilized, which okay. is. It's better than. Which is pretty key. He's alive. Okay. It, and he's alive. Yes. And it forces me to use resources on it. I'm not getting out. I'm not getting out where I want to be. Okay, so uh, we're going to crack on with uh, more orders. Cracking on with orders. Um, I'd actually picked First Fire as my mana pool order and I got it off in this Hound and then I went to get it on my Princess Warlord, First Fire, on two plus <coughs> and rolled a one. Um, on Steve's side of things we saw the Emergency repair, and then you went with this guy. Yeah, first fire in this guy, hatred, yep. uh, hatred eternal, mm -hmm. uh, and you got it. And that was it. So you wanted to do? I opted not to do anymore. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we did clear the shaken on oh, those yes. knights as well. So strats and orders done. We're going to go into turn three movement. Movement phase cut in. Um, Steve has activated the unit. We'll tell you all about that later. But what I'm going to be doing for my activation 
is first firing with this hound at these nights. So I'm at long range, yes, uh, I've activated my stratagem. Oh yes, you'll need a template. Activate my stratagem, which gives me plus one to hit uh, at long range. So I'll now be hitting them on threes. Uh, Steve, you can dump it on there. This guy, yep. Yeah, he's the one I can see the best. Mm -hmm. uh, two shots with the plasma. Mm. Uh, I am going to maximal fire this one. Right, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hitting on threes. Okay, so it's one heat, a scatter. One hit. And two hits. Oh, heat, yes, of course. You're yeah, yeah, maxed yes, it, maxed yes, it yeah. out. It's going all oh, that way. Three. Might get one. Yep. I think. <sighs> kind of falls between them. And you think did it touch any of them? I don't think it does. I mean, I can just literally shield, but not on the not on the base. Yeah. Okay, so uh, two hits two, yeah. and one heat. So I'm going to do my heat and come mm -hmm. back. Okay, so heat is up by one and two at strength ten. I've got a six and a two. Let's start with the lowest one. So I've got 12, right. which is one point. Uh, then I've got a 16, which is yeah. critical. So kills. there'll be two points on the track, not enough to kill one, no. and then the crit kills one. Uh, and then that's down to Steve to remove. Uh, shake and check uh, should pass on a five. Yeah, come on, uh, so that was my first fire. We're going back to more moves. Steve is now first firing with a volcano cannon at the unshielded Nemesis Warbringer. Here we go. Oh. I mean, so that's straight into the orange. Straight into the orange um, and a miss. And a miss. So scatter away, my friend. The dice really do like me today. Good. Um, oh. oh, two inches. So you're once, probably going to get at least once. Mm. So one hit goes through. Uh, mm. Roll away. Mm. Of 10. Oh. It's the body. Oh, do you get superficial? Yep. Oh, superficial. So uh, yeah, we're actually going to do some moves now. Movement done, and um, you saw the cut-ins, you saw the first fires, and Steve's perseverance of his big push is starting to fall into place. Uh, let's start over here. Uh, awkward spot, Steve moved his messed up princeps right over the objective, um, right in my face, getting in the way. He can't attack, but it's just causing me issues if he explodes, if I kill it. Um, I moved away slightly from the Warlord, and Steve is pushing up with another close combat Angry Reaver, I'm, I'm in trouble. Just, just you know, I'm literally just nudging myself backwards, uh, trying to hold a line for this uh, crazed uh, attack. Uh, sitting pretty over here, we saw the uh, first fire, and then again, um, I've nudged back, couldn't move with the hound, and Steve is pushing up over here. He's got this Serastus in. Um, first fire, probably a mistake. Probably should just move back, fired, move back, fired. Um, but I was chancing me on. So that's movement phase, that's where we're at. And uh, we're gonna do some damage repair. So a little damage repair cut, and this guy's in the orange, so uh, Steve needs to roll a d6. A okay. four. Power oh, failure, exactly what I predicted. Loses void, Loses voids shot. are down, but that's probably not the end of the world right now. And uh, repair. Okay. Ooh. One a bit of heat, takes yeah. him out of the orange. Yeah, I needed a bit more than that. But okay. Yeah. Quick damage repair overview. Um, my hounds are fine, both of them absolutely okay, and my warlord's fine as well. Uh, my warbringer cleared two points of heat, putting him back into the green, but has no shields. Uh, Steve's, we saw the shields go down here. The other reavers are fine. This guy cleared nothing at all, no heat, no, no damage. Double one and a three. Yeah, yeah absolutely nothing. So zippo. So that's damage repair in some kind of nutshell. We're going to go into the combat phase. Steve's first player into the combat phase and he's going with his lances. So, lances up, hitting on twos into the body. It's four uh, hits. He's got four hits. Strength eight. Strength eight, go for it. Whatever, wherever you can roll. Okay, so Get rid of one. So, two, uh, two, twelves. two twelves. And a thirteen. And a thirteen. Okay. So, the two twelves and a thirteen compromises, compromises my Warhound and puts him into his first crit on the body, reacts leak one. Steve now has shock shields. Shock shields. So, aim shots with the shock shields, it's a mouthful, into the body to try and finish me off. Uh, hit on fours now. Oh, he's got a four. Ah. Uh, nice, I warmed up. Okay, so plus three to these. What strength are they? Six uh, they were rapid. Did you run your sixes then? So just the four hits, no sixes. Effectively, D6 plus nine. Uh, strength six plus three for the compromised. 
roll those dice. Okay, oh. so two elevens. I think it's enough because they're all they're all going to die. You need minimums of tens. So okay, so two elevens, one uh, twelve. Engine yeah, kill. that is engine kill. So first engine kill actually goes to Steve. <laughs> um, I'm not in the orange or anything, so it's just straight up D10. I'll take a ten though. Why not? Yeah, good for you. <laughs> 10 it is then. <laughs> so, got my 10. Uh, the blast is D3 plus 5, did we say? 6 inch blast, which is probably just going to be the Knights. Yes. Yeah, just about, I think. Oh no, it's going to clip. It's going to yeah. clip the Warbringer. So, um, Knights and the Warbringer are getting hit. Uh, these are scale plus one. Uh, D6, uh, strength, uh, D6 hits, uh, scale plus one, yeah. Okay, so strength seven. Let's do the knights oh. for three. three hits. So you will get ion shield. Uh, yeah. Does it bypass ions or just bypass It says void. void. Okay, bypasses void, so you do get ion saves. Okay, so strength seven of two knights remaining. Yep. I have a five up normally, mm -hmm. uh, which becomes a, a four, four up. up. Yep. Three, wasn't it? Three. Okay. I made them all. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, and then my warbringer is going to take probably six. It takes two. Okay. Um, I am unvoided. Uh, it voids it anyway, doesn't it? Oh, of course it does. Which we were just talking about live on camera. Um, <laughs> strength seven. So location will be the legs. Uh, two of, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, superficial oh, and a two. So it's a nine. It's not even going to be strong enough. So. That is that, so that's fine. And then the Warhound is a smoking crater in the ground. That was your activation done, wasn't it, mate? It was, mate. Sweet. My activation going in with the Hound on the Princeps. Uh, I'm going to start off with a smash attack for D3, which is two. Uh, going for the, the legs, yep. uh, hitting on fours. I get one hit. Okay. Uh, so these are strength seven. Plus three for the... So uh, it's ten. I'm technically in the front. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It's a uh, twelve, so I mean you're compromised, That's aren't you? That's direct, so a crit. Takes a crit. Okay. First set of lasers. So uh, weapons give a four. Aim shots for the legs, so it'd be minus one at this range. Mm -hmm. So hitting on fives. The first pair gets one. Mm -hmm. um, these are plus eleven, effectively. Effectively. It's superficial. Oh my lord. And the next one. Mm -hmm. Same again. Two misses. Just can't kill ya, can't kill ya, that was my activation. Steve's Reaver going pretty much point blank at my Warlord, so he's starting with the Balkans. Uh, short range, getting plus one? Uh, short range, actually on the Carapace it doesn't have a plus one bonus. I think they FAQ'd it. Okay, so use the hit then. <laughs> Always miss one. No, okay. no rapids, so, so that five? is five. Five, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I will push this. Mm -hmm. Machine Spirit, Ooh. okay. Part of me I wants to fail. Yeah. Do something really interesting. Uh, I did fail it on a two. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do my saves. Yes. And uh, sort that out. Okay, saves coming up. Um, made them all. Didn't need did not them. need to push. <laughs> okay, and uh, now Machine Spirit. Yeah. Four. Okay, belligerent. Uh, you move D6 inches forward towards the nearest enemy. Uh oh. Which will be, of course, Princeps. Yeah, okay. And then so I'm going to move D6 inches in my front arc towards this guy. Should be four. So then I'll stop. stop one inch. Stop. And then I'll do a stop within one inch. Stop within, stop within, one, within one inch if it becomes... Okay. Uh, and then uh, doing a smash attack. Oh, uh, yeah. So D3 for three. <laughs> okay. Uh, weapon skill is five. So I'm going to target the legs. Yeah. For no hits. Okay. Got away with it. I did. Okay. Okay. But you saved all your shield saves, which was quite frustrating. I did, yeah. In which case I will fire some. Gatling's coming in now at the Warlord. Two's to hit. Five. Five hits. Um, I'm going to push again. For two <laughs> heat. That's all right. You can take it. Uh, five saves. Five saves. Uh, there's two. And there's another. Three. Um, so I've made two. I've dropped one definitely. Two re-rolls. Dropped two voids. 
Okay, not so bad. Uh, that was your activation complete? Yeah. Okay, back to me. So I nominated um, a Warbringer to fire at these knights, um, hoping really more than anything, and I was out of arc, so that was my activation. Back to Steve, he's going with this twin volcano wielding reaver at the shieldless Warbringer. Um, so the left battle has a minus one, yep. uh, the right has a minus two, so the missiles can't do much at the moment. So we're going to go with the minus one Bellicosa first. Yep, go for it, man. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's a miss. It's and a miss. Oh, machine, machine spirit. spirit. Roll a d10. Uh, so that is a, That's a pass. pass, isn't it, for a reader? It is a pass for a plus. So one, one heat and some scatter. Uh, yeah, so back into the orange. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> nice. And we are going to go... That way Over five, there, so that's going to miss. Okay, we're going to be really greedy. And go for another one. Go for another one. Is this the minus two one? Yeah, I'm not going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm not. No. Cool, and the missiles. Missiles. Uh, punt. Um, well, is there actually any you damage? Can't. Well, they strength four. Yeah, I don't know. So you can't actually do anything. So you need we'll, elevens. We won't fire those. Okay, so that's the end of that. Yeah. Uh, my last activation is the Warlord. Now I'm super close. I'm going to start with smash attacks at the legs of this guy. So D3 for one. Um, weapon skill of five. So here's two not hitting. So they're done. Uh, might go in with the Plasmas next. Okay, I'm actually going to go with the Gatlings next. Um, I've got more dice. I'm getting plus one to hit for aim shots. And I. I'm one pip away from being the orange, so I don't know if I want to max fire plasmas just yet. So, um, six shots with these. Uh, aim shots is hitting on fives in the legs because of the plus one at short range. Uh, would you believe it? Not one. Not one hit. Okay. Warlords can't be close uh, unless they've got a claw. So, I'm going to have to go balls to the wall. Aim shots, maximum fire. Four shots, I need sixes to hit. Okay. <laughs> Aim shots at the leg. I've got one. That's all you needed. And I've also got one heat. So I'm going into the orange. So, effectively, this is D6 at 13. It's a five, 18. Correct. That's going to kill it, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, so, and you in the orange or anything? I am not, I don't believe so, but I am going to play a stratagem. Now. Ah. Well, I'm going to say engine kill quickly before something bad happens. Yeah. Oh, no, I am in the orange. You are? Mm. Okay, great. Okay, so Steve's Titan is in the orange, but adding one to his D10. Steve has also played Override Signal. Um, he's going to also be adding another plus four for a total of plus five to this D10 roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it. Oh, that was a bit of a left down. Seven. Is that wildfire? <laughs> it is. Random direction. He's going to turn around and shoot his mate. You watch. Yes, please. Um, uh, I've not got these. Okay. Thing is, he's not going to be able to. He's going to literally turn and hit the. That's it. Yeah. That's as far as he can so turn. Shoot your warlord. He's going to pile everything into the warlord. Okay. Let's go five. Okay. What do you want to start with? The melter or um, the laser? Not the laser. Okay. What, else, what do we decide about whether or not I can <laughs> use the chain fist? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, and nothing. The two misses. Okay. okay, and one melter. One melter. Let's go five. By yeah. the way, Where do you want to put this hit? Right on his head. It's a hit. It's actually a hit. Yeah, and it, it's a that's a fusion hit. Yep. <laughs> so it's uh, two d ten. Two d ten plus eleven. Plus yeah. <laughs> okay. Go on then. The leg? Oh my <laughs> life. 21? Two crits basically. Two, crits. two mega crits. Okay, let me work this out. Okay, so I've taken two points of critical damage to the legs and my track is up to half. Uh, I'm going to use against the impossible. So once per battle, Legio Presage's Titan takes critical damage after the attack is done, blah blah blah. Uh, emergency repair can be done. Um, so here we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so forget the twos, because they'd just be threes anyway. So I've got, I've got two fours. Um, drop some heat. I drop some heat. It takes me out of the orange, but it's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, and then, you're, then your guy falls over, doesn't he? We haven't even finished yet. 
goes that way mm. straight up. So <laughs> let's work that out and see what he hits. So Steve's Titan literally just crashes into his own. Uh, for D6 collision hits for four. So these are strength eight. Yeah. Location is the body. Oh, fantastic. Oh. fantastic. So after that, uh, Steve's Reaver has one point of critical damage to the body as and is compromised. Uh, that was my activation. Steve's the last one is this hound. Yeah. And is. can't see or do anything. So no, he's, he's getting positioned. That is the end of the combat phase 10 3. I am really on the back foot. Um, Steve's just pushed me back, back, back. Uh, we've got some end phase stuff to check out. End phase done. Uh, my warlord took a little turn to the left. This guy's reactor went up by one, but he's still okay. He's not hot, is he? Literally, that was the only one. That's, that's the only that was one. The first, um, uh, this guy's gone back up into the orange? Using the orange because of, um, I forgot to add, oh no, I, I added the, um, ah. the, the heat from the from volcano. The volcano. Okay, so that's it for the end phase. That is the end of turn three. Got a big turn four coming up. Here we go, Princeps. So I'm in a sticky situation here and a sticky situation here. Um, yeah, turn four, first player roller. Oh, a one, a nine. Okay, I will be taking first player. Okay, Steve's, <laughs> Steve's feeling much more confident now. Let's do it. Steve's gonna be first player, turn four. Strats and orders complete, turn four. We're out strats, we're all done. Um, Steve got a charge here, and a charge here. Um, now I picked Splitfire for my mana pool order in the confidence um, I had two trains of thought. I was thinking a split fight here to shoot with the Gatlings over the top, uh, different target, and then the other guns at this guy here. Um, so I picked that, and then I changed my mind and wanted a emergency repair on my Warlord because of the leg damage and a roll of three, but because of the Magna, minus one. It's a two, so I failed that, so no orders for me, and then. That's it, it's emergency repair over here. So Steve's gonna roll for that for you now. Okay, that becomes a four. It does. That becomes a six. six. Basically all I want to do is dump two heat, which he does. You got. Okay, and then there's no orders in this hound. Nothing here, it's looking really bad for Presagius at this point. So strats and orders done, we're gonna go into the movement phase. Little caveat, Steve's changed his mind. He's gonna drop one heat and raise a shield uh, with his repair roll. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna go into the movement phase. So first activation, Steve's enacted his Reaver and charged at the Warlord. He has enacted his Allegiance ability, um, gives him plus two to his movement, uh, which is neither here nor there, but it is giving him plus one to attacks with a weapon melee trait. So his fist is getting plus one attack for that, yep. and he's getting plus one for the distance move, it's four inches. So four in total. We're going to do a uppercut. Uppercut or a... Punch. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm legs. assuming you're targeting the legs. I am. So accuracy is plus one, so west, uh, three ups, is this? What's your weapon skill? Four. Weapon skill is four, so you're hitting on threes. Great. That is three hits. Three hits, okay. He's a strength nine. Uh, strength nine, I'm going to check for some bonuses for you. Yeah. So C's getting plus one to this for the damage on my track, so these are effectively ten plus d6. Oh, oh. my. 14, 15, 16? Indeed. Okay, let's have a look. So it's uh, compromised me and uh, taken me to my last point of critical damage on my legs with that charge. It is now concussive, so roll a d6. To the left. Two, I think it goes to the left. Oh. Okay, that little concussive has turned me 45 and collided into Steve. Um, so we're doing collision damage, d6 hits on each. Do you want to start with mine? Sure. Five. Five. Roll a location. If you get the legs, you're going to kill me. Uh-oh. It's the legs. Just anything. Just anything. Oh. Um, you need a minimum. Oh, these are plus three. So it's eight. So it's 11. What's the lowest? Thirteens. Yeah, done. So that is an engine kill. Um, let's see what I do to Steve. What do I roll? <laughs> three hits at oh, my scale tw 10. So. Okay, scale 10, so strength 10. Uh, I've got the head, okay. which you're falling into him. Um, 13. Direct. 
15, Death 16. Two uh, devastating again. So end of track. Compromise. End of track compromised in the head. <laughs> okay, but we've got an engine kill on the warlord. Okay, here we go. Engine kill six. Not in the orange or anything. Wildfire. So spin. <laughs> Back backwards. <laughs> uh, so wildfire. So it says this is a tricky one. Uh, something that's not come up for us. Um, it says turn to face around direction, which I've done. Now, in order to do that, if I spin, I'm going to collide again with Steve's tire. Now, at this point, does that still count as collision, or does it not? Um, to get that facing. Uh, like it says, or does it does it stop turning if you can't turn any further as soon as you collide? It's not. It's never come up before, and I'm not entirely sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to d6 it. Mm -hmm. We're going to turn the way it says, and on a four plus there will be collision damage. Okay. Ready to roll it? Yeah. No collision damage, and uh, we're going to shoot the warhound. So please put in the comments what you think. I'm not entirely sure how you would play that. So for our game, we d6 it. And we're happy, and now I'm going to unload at this Warhammer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with the plasmas whilst I've still got void shields. So, um, hitting on fives. Oh, now, <laughs> now he hits with the plasma. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so let's uh, see what my voids are like. Voids at this stage are on a four plus. I'm going to push for one heat. I've made one, failed one definitely. Failed two. That could be voids down. <sighs> Voids are down, so Gatling's now, uh, plus one's hitting on fours, yeah, juicy, we've got four of those. <laughs> okay, uh, location is the legs, okay, in the flanks, so these are D6 plus eight, effectively. Uh, one superficial, get rid of that, okay, eight, so we've got 12, 13, and 14, let's have a look. Okay, the legs of this Warhound are now compromised, and now this guy falls. Reroll that. Get on the mat. Uh, backwards. Directly backwards, um, and that. Oh, yeah, should be fine. Okay, so that's engine kill. I'm not in a good way. Okay, movement phase complete. Um, start over here because it's dead easy. Steve opted not to go anywhere so he can uh, attack in the combat phase. Uh, we saw the carnage over here. My Warhound has adopted the um, Princeps rank now um, with the Legio trait fluid command structure. So I'll just get advantage to my command checks for orders if I need to. I think that's all it does. Um, and I flanked this um, Reaver that has um, did the charge. This was a complicated bit. Um, <laughs> I, there's no way I was going to win this fight. My Warbringer was here. Knights were here, and that Warhound was here. Um, if I went backwards, I was going to get charged. There's no way I could get out of that reach. Um, I opted to just go forwards to get the cover from the rock so I didn't get charged. Steve then moved the Lancers to hold the objective. Um, he then rolled for 12 inches of movement uh, with his Hound, got one heat, and did a merry dance <laughs> all the way around to the rear. Uh, there's just no way I could get out of it. So that's where we're at. That's movement phase done. Um, we're going to do some desperate damage repairs. Uh, damage repair done. Um, you repaired the crit over here? I repaired the crit on his legs, yeah. Yeah, so he's got no damage, but he's compromised? Uh, yeah, compromised in the head. Compromised in the head. Um, and, oh, let me double check that. It was, hate, that is uh, triumph, isn't it? So yeah, compromised in the body, sorry, and in the head, not the legs. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, over here, what'd you get, mate? Uh, just rolled one five, so I opted to actually drop a heat. He was in the, he was in the yellow, so I'm going to fire some bad. I'm going to fire some big guns, so I wanted to heat rather than extra shield. Okay, uh, nothing on the hound, was it? Uh, he won a lot of heat, but I managed to not roll a four plus. Okay, and the big news is the Warbringer, I rolled um, two sixes. So I've actually lit two shields, which will give me some kind of protection for now. I think there's, <laughs> there's no way a Warbringer is going to outmaneuver two Serastus Knights. <laughs> and the Warhound. So that's damage repair done, we're going into combat phase. First activation, Steve is aiming missile shots at this Hound's legs. They are compromised, but at the moment no critical damage. So hit on fives, four, one. one. Uh, so strength four, so seven plus d6. 
Ten. It's a ten. That I might. Yes, that goes to one crit. Because. Okay. Yeah, one crit. Okay. Now um, stabilizes damage on that warhound. Okay, so we're going to have to play the gamble now. Yep. And try and hit with the bellicose, and that is one that's got a clear shot, and one is at minus one. So I'll fire the clear shot first. Mm -hmm. I'll put it right there. Yep. Uh, that's a hit and one heat. Okay. So, so that two is, hits. Didn't the yellow there? So two hits. Hoping for the legs. Uh, strength ten. Body. Into the body. Okay. Oh. That is a fifteen and a sixteen. Well, that's two crits straight yeah. up. So that's now two crits on the body, uh, one pip away from being compromised on the body. So this is the minus one, minus so four one. to hit. Okay, it's a it's machine it. spirit Ooh. though. Which he passes. passes. So, so one, one heat and does another. Into the orange, but I think it's worth it. Uh, and another two, <laughs> two hits, two. The, oh, legs. the leg. Okay. So, um, what we get in there, Chris? Two sixteens, I think. Two sixteens. Because you're strength ten, aren't you? Yep. And um, you get him plus three because I'm compromised. Yep. And another two three, so two sixteens. That is two crits. That could be engine kill. So that is enough to crit the legs enough to another engine kill. Um, not in the orange. I'm going to roll a D10. It's a two. Laid low. D6 so. in a random direction. Engine kill. So it's a collision, I assume. Uh, is it moved D6? It's it is. D6 inches forward. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, if you roll a one, it's going to hit. So collision into you. So the location is the legs. Which is, um, okay, aren't they? Yes, the only bit of me that I'm the able to check that is hatred, uh, private flame, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's the only bit of him that you didn't want to hit, basically. Okay, so strength is scale, which is six, but I'm in the flank, so plus sevens. Uh, I've got a ten, which I don't think is enough for no, a reaver. No, Near elevens. Yeah. Okay, and then fall over? Um, yes. Uh, backwards. Uh, engine kill, I'm running out of stuff. Okay, my last Titan, uh, another new promoted, uh, newly promoted Princeps, it seems, um, is in arc and is just in range of 24 inches at that Reaver for what it's worth. So, Gatlings, I've hit three times. Okay, I have one shield left. Okay. Uh, four up, so I'm not in the position to push. Okay. That loses it. So, voids it down. Yep. Uh, let's go with the Melter mm. on top. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. oh wow. I needed that. I did. So, huh. that way, eight. That's going nowhere. Um, you might as well stick a big old pie plate on there now. Same again, right in the middle, yeah? Yeah. Right. right, here we go. One heat. Yep. That's a hit. It's a hit. Two hits. Yeah. So, these are strength 12. Uh, I do need a location, though, so. Here we go. You haven't taken any damage anyway. I have taken no damage, but head. that is the head, yeah. Okay. So, automatically getting directed. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's Ooh, uh, 17 and 18. That's two, critical two crits. That's two crits. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I'm now out of firepower. Steve's activations now, because I am spent. Um, he's going to try and take the voids off the Warbringer with the shock shields. So. Okay. Let's go four. Two oh. rapid, so that is five, five hits. Okay. So five void saves. Five? Five. So five. Okay. I'm pushing uh, for one heat. I have failed far too many because I need fours. Okay. So voids are now down on the wall brown. Okay. Is it the end game? Steve's last activation that's going to yeah, do anything? Yes, it yeah, it's actually going to do anything. Um, into the rear of the wall brown. Going max fire with the plasma blast gun, hitting on threes. Well, one hit, one, one miss, but one no heat. Scatter. Miss from this range. So one scatter. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> back to back on my six end. inches. I think that's literally going to land <laughs> on your. That's what you get. It's going to get him twice. It is, yeah. Okay, so voids. Okay, so I'll make my void saves quick for my, yeah. my hound. <laughs> Drops <Fast>. one. <laughs> Uh, there we go. And it was two hits. It's two hits on, on the, the Warbringer. Warbringer. So let me just so let me just have a look at me Warbringer. Your, uh, your Warbringer. Stat. So no damage on the Warbringer. Steve, roll location. We've got. Uh, we're in the body. Um, he has rolled 
a five and a six. So strength ten in the rear, so it's plus two, so it's twelve plus d six. Uh, for what, 17 and 18? Uh, it's going to be two crits. Where was the location? Uh, body. Body, okay. Two crits come up. Will the Vulcans finish uh, the Warbringer off? So um, Steve's going to aim shots at the body. Uh, he's getting plus one at this range. So hitting on fours. The body is a rapid. No rapid shots. No three rapid. hits. So you've got three hits. Okay, so these are strength four basic. Strength four basic. In the rear. In the rear. So, plus two. Yeah, so that's six. Six, yeah. Plus, plus one bonus now, so these are seven plus d6. So I need fours, we said. We need fours minimum. Okay, so I get. Get rid of that one. Superficial, so I get a. Um, what did we say they were straight Seven. Seven. <laughs> twelve, or a a Twelve and a thirteen. <laughs> so direct and devastating, this Warbringer is now compromised and has two points of critical damage in the body. Is there anything else you've got to do, Steve? Why well, is that our guns? Our guns. Uh, your last activation would have been what? This, this guy, guy. He's going to stand there and go, Whoa, Magna! Absolutely. Okay, um, let's check out some end phase stuff and come back to you. So the end phase, as you can see, Steve is in a very dominant position. I have one unit left and it's not looking good. Um, Reactor leak two as well. So the Warbringer is in the orange. That is the end of turn four. Will we see you in turn five? Don't know. So, Steve, you are first player. Roll mm -hmm. a d10, see if the game continues. Seven. Game will go into one turn five. I could fold here, but let's see if Steve can get the table. Uh, we'll see you in turn five. So here we go, turn five. This is just for Steve's satisfaction, really, because there's not really a lot <laughs> I can do. Um, yeah, I've got, this will be satisfied. I, <laughs> I've got mullet, so the game is in the bag. First player roll off. Ten. It's a nine, nine. but still does not beat Jules. Does it really make a difference? It what am do. I going to do? I don't know. I have a think. So I'm going to go first player. Um, I'm just going to try and take something out before I go down. That's my plan. So we're going to go into strats and orders. Strats and orders complete. Um, I went for nothing. Steve, this is basically I'm hoping that Steve failed the charge order and he got it off. Uh, he then went for an emergency repair over here and failed. So that was that. Um, we're going to go into the movement phase. And that will probably be the end of the game. Movement phase complete. So I pushed for turns, turned around and moved into Steve's gaggle here. Um, I'm now in the red. Um, Steve then could move all his units. Uh, he's claimed the objective over here. Then claims the objective over here. Um, push the hound um, for extra turns and push him to the orange. Push to the orange. Uh, but he's four inches from that objective, so we'll see what happens there. And then last but not least is the charge. So no bonus attacks. Nope. We have four attacks with the lance. Yep, yeah, and we're gonna aim at whatever bit of you. The body is compromised. And the body is then. So twos. Twos. So that's all four all hits. Four hits. So these are strength eight plus yep. three. So this is eleven plus d6. <laughs> oh wow! That's, that's three seventeens and a sixteen. Okay, engine kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I was on my second point of critical damage. Uh, as that is an overkill. Um, I'm in the red. So it's d10 plus three. Engine kill. Uh, nine, so close. Magazine detonation. Magazine detonation. So full on magazine detonation. Um, it's D3 plus the scale for the range of the blast. Um, it, don't need to roll it. It's going to hit these guys anyway. Nine. Um, so now they're going to take hits. So the knights. Uh, these are strength twelve. It's the strongest weapon, mm -hmm. which is the bellicosa. How many hits do they take? D3. D3. Okay. Okay. They take three. <laughs> might, be, might be getting your revenge upon them. Okay. So. Um, no saves at strength 12. No saves at uh, all. Yep. Double sixes. Leah's dead. And a, a crit, 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 crit. So they, they are now <laughs> toast. They, they did their thing. Goodbye, goodbye. Um, and now this guy's going to take D3 void shield saves, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, okay. For what it's worth. I don't, is there any point doing this? We're doing it anyway. One. And he, and he passes it on a four. <laughs> okay, and now I am a hole in the ground. So the movement phase has come to a close and I am no more. Um, Steve is the victor. Um, 
damage repair phase. This could blow up. Uh, well, who's got on the orange? This fella and the. And you got uh, two. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to start with this one? Uh, yeah. Let me just call him up. So he has got. Actually, no. He's in the orange, but he doesn't actually have, have any damage. Any damage to the body, so he's probably going to be okay. So it's a free. It's power failure. He's already lost his shields, so it's, it's uh, plasma leak. So D three. Shred for nine hits in the body. Three. That's free. Uh, one superficial. Uh, so an 11 is a direct. 11 and a 15. And 15 was a critical, so but that's, that's, that's it. So that's he's him. alive. Uh, the uh, hound, hound, I don't think actually. Got any damage at all? No, so, I mean, let's roll it. He rolls a free, he loses his power, he loses his he's shields. Full. And that's it, that's the game. So, as you can see, um, Steve is sitting pretty on one, two, three objectives. Uh, Legio, Presagius, and no more. Well done, Steve. Victory to the traitors. Victory to Magna. For <laughs> <laughs> the Warbuster. End of the game. So um, obviously I scored zero. Um, Steve scored zero for his secondary. Uh, but for season hold, uh, he has the three objectives, uh, which gives him 15 points for them. And because he's holding more than two, he scores another five for 20. The score is 20-0 to the traitors. Cool, so that was the game, and as you can see, uh, an overwhelming victory for the trailers got absolutely annihilated, but it didn't feel like it was going to go that way. Certainly didn't, especially when you took that, um, my Princess Senior has got such a battery in running into that um, hound in the Warlord. To be honest, I just wanted to push you back, uh, stop you getting your secondaries, which was the table quarters, and try and prevent you getting any primaries, and just basically hemming you in to the point where I could pick you off. It actually worked. It actually worked. Um, the rush tactic. Yeah. It took me three turns to kill one Reaver. If I'd done it in two, it would have given me a third turn to um, choose another target, start taking out something else. That yeah. Those repair rolls were immense. I just couldn't yeah, right. do it. Going for those aim shots, not getting any of those fives or sixes. It was a very swingy game. Swing. I thought you had it in turn two. I thought I couldn't see the Prince of surviving. I thought, well, he didn't obviously, but at that point I thought he was going to go, and I thought you know, he was going to have a clear run against the two Reavers here. Yeah, I felt quite good. I felt, even though I wasn't going anywhere, I felt fairly comfortable just backing up, holding a line. I was All I was doing was holding a line. I couldn't break out. The thing with this game is you pick the secondaries. You, don't, you can't build your list around the secondaries. So... I mean, to be honest, you can't build your list around the primary because you just don't yeah. know what it's going to be. The secondary I picked was more for thematic reasons. I thought it was just going to be great to have a go and maybe try and kill your, your mm. hound and get the extra points. But it obviously pre it was prevalented on the fact that you needed your seniors to be alive to get it, uh, whereas yours was, Mine was a, taking little, table a little bit more... Yeah. Your, whole, your whole force could do it, whereas yeah. only one person could do it. One model, sorry, could do it in the... Um, in my game, in my my force, but still, wow! I and did I, I did not expect it to to be uh, a table. No, um, the, the, probably deployed too close for the warlord because you got inside the gatlings on the carapace really quickly. I never used them for the no, whole game. I wanted to shut that down. I wanted to make sure you never got to fire them. And you did that really well. Um, I really struggled with the brawler mid-range warlord because those those carapace weapons just get shut down pretty quickly. Mm. I oomed and about putting a claw on it, but I thought, because I was presagious, getting that, I mean, it's the re-roll the location dice at long range, it's not... Well, that's another reason I pushed up, so you wouldn't be getting that. No, and I wasn't bothered about that. It's a nice little rule. It's really like, you know, nice and fluffy and stuff. More it's a great little it. trick to have. Could come in useful, but my game plan wasn't really built around it. If I'd had the claw, Steve might have if you'd had a claw, a I don't think I would have deployed as aggressively forward, mm. and I certainly wouldn't have, well, I probably would have had my Reavers on the left flank rather in the middle uh, more, and try to go all the way around the flank like I, could, like I did mm. with the Knights and the Hound, and try and take your Warlord either out of the game in terms of his firepower, mm -hmm. uh, but then I would have given up these two objectives on my side of the board uh, to do that, but it might have worked out, mm. but I would have steered clear of it. 
Yeah, the other flank, uh, I just couldn't kill those knights quick enough. I had all the template weapons over there to do it. Um, ducked away, just didn't get the shots off. Um, missed up that maximal fire on the Warhound. It's my mistake. When you're watching our games, you're watching us play a game. And in any war, any mistake someone makes is a mistake. You, you can't, you can't, you know... Steve was decent. Goes, oh, do you want to? Do you want to like, you know, go back and Max says, no, no. If I've forgotten, if I've forgotten to do something, I've forgotten to do something. I'm the one in charge. If I'm the princeps in that warhound, and I haven't pressed the maximal fire button, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's, you know, you you have to roll with your mistakes, and that was a mistake. Yeah, um, yeah. Wow. It's yeah, happens. But um, thoroughly enjoyed that game because so much happened. It was uh, a great game, and it was. I quite enjoyed. The, the being on the back line and, and being pushed, I quite like that holding a line feeling. It's quite good. A little disappointed I didn't blow myself to oblivion with the extra with the stratagem which I took really just for lost. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> it's, it's a good stratagem because uh, an exploding titan is nothing to be sniffed at. You know, I I use mine at the end. All right, the game's already lost, but even early on, you throw a warhound, use it as a bomb. Mm. You know, it's, it's you have to. Yeah, you can use it to um, if it's a friendly titan within twelve. Or if you can use it on any enemy titans as well, right? So it doesn't have to be one of yours, right? So you just turn so it into a bomb. An exploding titan is an efficient weapon. You have to have a one of your models within twelve of it, so to, to scramble that to, scramble to make it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was the game. I hope you enjoyed it. It's nice to get a second rep done. Mm. Um, hopefully, with more, we're gonna have some big news for you coming up soon. The channel's hopefully gonna have some really exciting news. So stay tuned. Very exciting. Very exciting. Like, share, subscribe. It's nice to be back. We'll see you next time for more thrill spills and engine kills. <laughs> you love that. Man.